There's Kirby. What's that? Oh, that's right. Distinguished guests, the President of the United States and the Prime Minister of Japan. Please have a seat. It's an honor to stand here today with the Prime Minister Japan, President Kishida, Prime Minister Kishida. When I became president, I said that the United States would rebuild the muscle of our dem democratic alliances, and we stand shoulder to shoulder with our allies again, because our alliances are America's greatest asset. The relationship with Japan is powerful proof of that, that investing in our alliance and raising our collective ambitions, we yield remarkable results. Over the last three years, the partnership between Japan and the United States has been transformed into a truly global partnership. And that's thanks in no small part to the courageous leadership of Prime Minister Kishida. And I mean that sincerely. Together, our countries are taking significant steps to strengthen defense security cooperation, we're modernizing command and control structures, and to increase the interoperability and planning of our militaries so they can work together in a seamless and effective way. This is the most significant upgrade in our alliance since, the end of, since it was first established. I'm also pleased to announce that for the first time, Japan and the United States and Australia will create a network system of air, missile, and defense architecture. We're also looking forward to standing up a trilateral military exercise with Japan and the United Kingdom. And our AUKUS defense partnership with Australia and the United Kingdom is exploring how Japan can join our work and the second pillar, which focuses on advanced capabilities, including AI, autonomous systems. All told, that represents a new benchmark for our military cooperation across a range of capabilities. On the economic front, our ties have never been more robust. Japan is the top foreign investor in the United States. Say that again. Japan is the top foreign investor in the United States. And we, the United States, are the top foreign investor in Japan. Nearly one million Americans work in Japanese companies here in the United States. And to name just one example, a few months ago, Toyota announced an $8 billion investment in a massive battery production facility in North Carolina, which will employ thousands of people. Prime Minister is going to travel to North Carolina tomorrow to visit that project. Don't stay. Don't stay. We need you back in Japan. They'll probably try to keep you. We also affirm the science and education ties between Japan and the United States. Those ties, ties stretch up to the moon, where two Japanese astronauts will join future American missions, and one will become the first non-American ever to land on the moon. And they reach into the high schools and universities as well, where the Mineta, Ambassador Mineta's program exists, named for our dear friend Norm Mineta. We're going to invest in new student exchanges, help train the next generation of Japanese and American leaders. We'll also discuss developments in the Middle East, including our shared support for a ceasefire and a hostage deal, and urgent efforts to deal with the humanitarian crisis that exists in Gaza. We also want to address the Iranian threat to launch a significant, they're threatening to launch a significant attack on Israel. As I told Prime Minister Netanyahu, our commitment to Israel's security against these threats from Iran and its proxies is ironclad. Let me say it again, ironclad. We're going to do all we can to protect Israel's security. And finally, I want to commend the Prime Minister himself. He's a statesman. 
men, you know, the fact is that uh, you condemn Putin's invasion of brutal invasion of Ukraine when it happened. You pledged more than $12 billion in aid, prioritizing nuclear nonproliferation at the United Nations Security Council, standing strong with the United States as we stand up for freedom of navigation, including in the South China Sea, and as we maintain peace and stability across the Taiwan Straits, and taking the brave step of mending ties with the Republic of Korea so we can all stand shoulder to shoulder together. Tomorrow, we will both be joined by another good friend, President Marcos of the Philippines, for a trilateral summit, the first of its kind. And through it all, our commitment to the defense of Japan under Article 5, including the Senkaku Islands, is unwavering. Mr. Prime Minister, through our partnership, we have strengthened the alliance. We have expanded our work together. We have raised our shared ambitions. And now the U.S.-Japan alliance is a beacon to the entire world. There is no limit what our countries can and our people can do together. So thank you for your partnership, your leadership, and your friendship. And now over to you, Mr. Prime Minister. Hi. あの、